can you be born with sauce or do you or do you acquire no, sauce? No, you get born with you, sauce. You get, you get sauce. You get sauce from. How you gonna be born with seasoning? Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I gotta talk about why Gucci Mane never fell off. Now, I was asked this question a good minute ago, and when you really think about it, Gucci Mane's situation is relatively unique. Yes, there are rappers who have gone to jail and rappers who have been in the game for a minute, but after they go to jail, yes, you get an initial spike, but there aren't too many people who have been in the game as long as he had and then stayed in jail as long as he had and still had a long sustaining career after jail that actually elevated. No Tupac situation don't count. No Lil Boosie didn't elevate after jail. You can go on and on and on. We're not talking about to start the hype. We're talking about you've been there and now the jail is threatening to kill the buzz that you already have. Now let's go ahead and hop into number one when it comes to Gucci Mane. Number one would be his music. He made a lot of music, so music kept dropping while he was in jail. Let's skip over that. I feel like y'all know what that means and how that affects things. Number two, an even cooler thing that Gucci did that most rappers hadn't done when they went to jail is how he reinvented himself. Not only did he lose weight, which was dramatic in itself, but he had this whole lifestyle change as a whole, and he promoted it with just as much conviction as he promoted his previous lifestyle. Then he had his girl when he got married. So much of his lifestyle changed, he actually showed growth, which is far more important than just trying to come back and then catch the same wave that you had. So it still felt as authentic as the old Gucci Mane, but it just felt like he was a different place in life. So that allowed for the growth and lasting power, which a lot of rappers miss even when they aren't in jail. But number three, and by far the most important in why Gucci Mane never fell off is the fact that he put a lot of people on. He supported a lot of people. Sometimes they might have been in a deal with him. Sometimes he might have just helped them out in the background or, you know, gave them a little free studio time. As a matter, matter of fact, let me just read off a list of some people that Gucci Mane has touched in some form of fashion. Metro Boomin, The Migos, Coach K, Waka Flocka, Zaytoven, Young Thug, Mike Will Made It, OJ The Juice Man, Nicki Minaj, French Montana, Rich Homie Quan, and Southside. Just to name a few, and when I say a few, I mean a small few of the people that Gucci Mane has touched and helped out in some form of fashion in the community. So then when you add the fact that since he had been gone, most of those people just continue to elevate. Now you only have these people who appreciate you and mess with you, so they're willing to help you out. This is the second of the three types of brands that every single artist has. You can watch that video on those three types of brands in the description below. But the second of that brand is what I call the back stage brand and it's essentially the professional brand that you have among your peers other people within the industry who you might put on they might put you on but either way it goes it's y'all supporting each other and what they think about you professionally because this is what's going to ultimately affect your legacy because these people might five years ten years twenty years down the road say Yo, man, his work ethic was amazing, which you hear people talk about when it comes to Gucci Mane. You hear people talk about Tupac's work ethic. You always hear people talk about how, like, Gucci Mane is really a nice person. He hard, but he's a nice person. There's so many things that are important when it comes to that professional side of the brand and what allows people to even want to work with other people. But I'm not going to go too deep into that in this video check that video out in the description below once again it's one of the older videos but it's still relevant the three types of brands every artist has i just had to highlight that because i was asked that question and it truly is the most important of all the reasons why gucci Mane never fell off and why he's gonna keep elevating because he brought in new generations where there's some of these artists that have fell off or people are happy to see competition for them. I'm not gonna name any names because those artists 
only turned their nose down when new artists came up and they didn't support those new artists that people saw as competition when they could have just so easily said, you know what, instead of looking at this artist as competition, I'm gonna put them under my wing, give them my cosign, and then keep on moving. That's actually a power move at the end of the day. But neither here nor there, I would love to know you guys' thoughts on this quick video right here. And other than that, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.